lovelies and welcome back to Sundering Tarot. Thank you so much for joining me. This is your daily tarot reading for the 31st of August 2023. So very last day of the month. My ancestors once again have called for the Angel Wisdom Tarot by Radley Valentine. I'll have that deck listed in the description box down below. I don't know about you but um, I'm ready for a different deck. So who knows maybe they'll ask for an oracle deck for the first of the month tomorrow but for now, this is what we're using. Let's go ahead and see what else this deck wants to share. All right, my lovelies, we have about nine cards on the table. Half, or uh, actually a little over half, are those our major arcana we have five major arcana out of nine cards so we have the star the seven of pentacles the six of pentacles the five of pentacles balance which is our temperance card in this deck the chariot justice hermit and the four of swords and i will remind everyone that this deck does have paragraphs down below each card i am going to read them out this time so if you would like to skip that portion and go directly to the reading, please expand the description box down below and use the timestamps that'll be there and fast forward. The star, have faith the future is bright, dreams come true, positive changes that bring an end to challenging times, the light at the end of the tunnel, seven of pentacles, seeds well planted, efforts or investments that will be rewarded in the future, the need for patience, a time for resting and planning for the future, unnecessary worry. Six of Pentacles. The good you do comes back to you, an unexpected flow, inflow of abundance, borrowing wisely or paying off a debt, sharing your wealth with others less fortunate. Five of Pentacles. Negative thoughts manifesting into real challenges, fears surrounding money. Reach out to others for assistance, poor timing for becoming self-employed balance, also known as temperance, um, blending the ideas of others with your own to create something extraordinary, successful compromise, the power of diversity, self-control, patience, and balance. The chariot, rewards that come from hard work, successfully balancing many priorities at once, determination and willpower, public recognition. Justice, be impartial and objective, stand up for what you believe, Try to see all sides of a situation. You will win if your position is one of integrity. The Hermit. Spend time in peaceful meditation and meaningful solitude. Shine your light as an example to others. Seek out or become a spiritual mentor. Self-discovery. And the Four of Swords. Insight that comes from meditation. The need to rest or take a vacation. Allow yourself more time before making a decision. Mental exhaustion. Get more sleep. And for those that are rejoining the reading after skipping the um, reading the paragraphs on the cards, welcome back. So let's move right along to the actual reading. Uh, please, by all means, for the day, hold out hope that your endeavors are not only successful, but haven't been a waste of your time. Have faith that you are not wasting your time, that there is actually a, a payout for you for the hard work that you've done, for the energy you've been given to whatever hope, dream, goal, whatever it is that you have set your mind on. That said, there seems to be um, a lack of focus, some doubt, uh, maybe even fear that you are not progressing or haven't made the correct steps, the correct choices that your efforts, yes, have been tossed on the wayside, that you are just kind of spinning your wheels, as it were, in what you are trying to accomplish. However, all things being equal, you have actually made progress. There is movement. Um, you will see a result, maybe not right away, and right now you probably can't see all the baby steps you've made, all the progress you made. Um, whether that is fear, 
getting in your way, whether that is distractions, you're just totally unfocused. Or it could be that here lately, a lot of the movement is behind the scenes. So it's not apparent. However, you can see that what you are doing the efforts you've made, the energy you've put in, the hours you've put in, actually have a result. If you take time to meditate, to gain clarity, to go back to source, to actually start looking for those answers, to examine things on a closer level, and yes, that does mean that you probably need to quiet your mind a bit. Um, you know, push away the fear, stop doubting, Rehone your focus and you'll see it. You'll see those baby steps. You'll see the progress. I actually kind of like this. A worthy endeavor. So don't doubt yourself about it. All right, and for those that love the astrology, Moon in Pisces is opposite Mar uh, Mercury in Virgo. Yep, difficulty focusing your mind. Um, you might have just too many racing thoughts. Of course, we picked up being unfocused as well as fear. So try to focus focus on something that can burn up mental energy. Um, you know, you got to mitigate the distractions. You got to mitigate the anxieties and the fear attachment. Quiet your mind, get still, get some answers, whether that's getting back to nature, whether that's meditating, um, or just getting time to yourself to try to look at the situation from unbiased eyes without the opinions and projections of others. And for those that love the numerology, everything on the table adds up to 77. Uh, we do have a seven on the table, so there is 777. Seven, seven. A lot of us think of, you know, the 777 on the slot machine, we think that is a lucky number. Yes, luck is, believe it or not, on your side. You are making progress. Your endeavor is worth it. Even if you can't always see how much you've accomplished thus far. 77, of course, reduces to 14, which ultimately reduces to five. Five in numerology is change. Yes, you may not be able to clearly see the changes that you have made, the changes that have come about, the progress that you have actually made. But the good news is that you can change that to where you can see it. It's just, it takes some effort to regain focus and to examine it, to see it for um, your own eyes, as it were. All right, my lovelies, I hope some of this resonated for you. If it does, do me a big favor and hit the thumbs up button Likes are fabulous. They let me know it resonate, you know, you resonate with the reading and that you find the content valuable. Feel free to leave me a line in the comment section down below. Also feel free to subscribe if you haven't. Also feel free to um, share the video anywhere online for social media. And thank you so much for those that do. That really helps the channel to grow. Truly appreciate it. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.